Wazi, sound the Octo Alert. Yow! Octolords, to the launch bay. If we can find the shipwreck dashi, then we can look for the golden jar. Activating grabber. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> ah, got it. This will help pick things up from the shipwreck. Thanks, Tweak. Octonauts, over here. <gasps> Captain, what is it? Look. The golden jar that was on your map, Quasi. Oh, this will make a beautiful photo. Aye, matey. But don't get too close. Captain, the sea monster could be hiding behind that golden jar. Oh, no. Then I'll pull it out very carefully. Over a bit. Down a little. Gotcha. Yeah, no monster there. Spiffy uniform, Peso. Our special visitor will be impressed. Thank you, Captain. Tweak, progress report. The guppy is almost here, Cap. It should be arriving in one minute. Octonauts, let's give our guest of honor a ship shape welcome. Form a line. Permission to open the octa hatch, Cap. Permission granted. They're going out to study baby sea snails. Baby sea snails can be hard to find because they're so tiny. That's why I have my magnifying glass. Tweak, open the octa hatch. Aye, aye, Cap. Captain Barnacle's here. Go ahead, Dashie. Captain, we seem to be stuck. Can you locate us? Uh-oh, Cap. We've lost radio contact. Dashie and Shellington are stuck, and we've got to get them unstuck. Dead ahead. There they are. Is that the double orc? Octonauts, here's the plan. Quasi, you go around the back and I'll... Quasi! So much for the plan. Activate helmets. Oh, oh, can I go too? No. Uh, Quasi, we may not be dealing with a double orc after all. Uh, of course not. I know double orcs, Captain. This is no double orc. It looks like a plant to me. It is a plant. A type of seaweed called kelp. We're at the edge of a kelp forest. Dashie and Shellington are trapped in the kelp. We've got to get them out. We'll have to use the tow line to pull them out. Peso, check on Shellington. Quasi, let's get the tow line. To alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Yow! Captain, we've got to bump him back. Let's talk before we bump, Quasi. <clears throat> Greetings, Orca friends. Please, do not bump our ship. <laughs> That's enough. Everyone back. I'm terribly sorry. Is your ship all right? Yes, thank you. Is his head all right? Oh, that one's hard-headed. He bumps first and asks questions later. Very brave, though. Hmm, sounds like someone I know. We're curious about your ship. We heard it make an interesting sound. Oh, you mean the Octo Alert? No, more like this. <laughs> Oh, um, that, that was me. I was having trouble on my accordion. We thought it sounded quite lovely. Oh, thank you. Octonauts, who wants to go out and meet our new friends? Are you all right? Hi, Captain, but I can't get the orca to budge. Oh, I don't feel very well. Is it just me or is it getting really hot? 
Quasi, there's a bucket in the gup. Will you grab it and pour some water over the orca? He needs water to stay healthy. Aye, aye, Captain. If I could just... <laughs> oh. oh, no, I'm stuck. And I can't stay out of the water for long. Don't worry. On my honour as an octonaut, I promise that we will get you off this beach. In the meantime, Quasi will keep you cool. Oh, thanks. Octonauts, the orca is stuck on the beach. Our mission is to get him back into the water. Until then, we must keep our whale friend cool and wet. Hey, I hear my port calling to me. Oh no! All of the orcas are heading straight for the beach! Quasi, keep pouring! I'll be right back! Orcas, stop! Please, let us pass. We must go after our cousin. If you go too close to the beach, you'll get stuck as well. We're his pod. Members of a pod always do what they can to help each other. You can count on the Octonauts to bring him back to the pod safe and sound. But there must be something we can do to help. Well, I know it cheers him to hear your voices. Maybe you could sing to him. All right, Captain. We shall sing to him. <laughs> The orca is too heavy to move when he's out of the water. We've got to figure out a way to pull him back out into the ocean where he belongs. We're gonna need rope. Lots and lots of rope. I'll contact the octopod and ask them to bring all the rope we've got. There's no time to lose. Ouch! Now, you listen here. <laughs> you don't have to hide. No one will hurt you. Mm. This beach belongs to us crabs. You and that giant thing must go, go, go! It's getting hotter and hotter. Octonauts, grab the ropes. Hmm. Ready to test, Cap. Octonauts, take your positions. On my signal! One, two, three, pull! Ow! Stop, stop! Oh, that really hurts. Captain, I don't think it's enough to pull him. Now, if we could get the ropes under him, we could lift him up. Hmm. We need a way to tunnel under the sand with the ropes. I think I know who can help us. Attention, crabs! You crabs have a special ability to tunnel under the sand. Will you use it now to help the orca? No, he got himself into this. He can't get himself out. Ah! Ah! Let me help you. There you go. Well, that was uh, really hmm, quite helpful. Thank you. So, are you with us? Oui? Oui? Okay, sideways, march! Octonauts, let's do this! One, two, three, four! Again, one, two, three, four! <laughs> one, two, three, four! Yeah, it's working! Keep pulling! Goodbye, Orca friends. Goodbye, Captain. Until we meet again. Is the guppe ready to go, Tweak? It sure is, Cap. 
Sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, hold on. Something is about to hit us. Dashy. Peso. Shellington. Inkling. Vegemals. Brace yourselves. What? Cat, you hear that? It's coming from outside the octopod. <laughs> <laughs> huh. The screen is blank. We've lost the radar. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to your station. Hold on, Quasi. This thief is sneaky. So we'll have to be sneakier. If he sees us coming, we'll never be able to catch him. So we'll have to make sure he doesn't see us coming. Baby, I'm so happy to see you. Thank you for keeping my baby safe. <clears throat> Quasi, activate Creature Report. Creature Report! Creature Report! 